Anthony Edwards and the Minnesota Timberwolves look to take a command in two games to zip series lead against Kevin Durant and the Suns. Could somebody step up for Phoenix and tie up this best of seven series? Early on, it didn't look like it. T-Wolves kicked the game off on an eight zip run. Anthony Edwards nails the three. Rudy Gobert gets the and one. Here comes Phoenix though, Booker had. An abysmal game one was somewhat better in game two. Grown man deuce from D-Book. Phoenix hanging around despite Minnesota's hot start. And the T-Wolves would have to get it done pretty much without Cat in the second. He picks up his third foul to end the first quarter. He's got to sit. Can the Suns take advantage of it? Eric Gordon says, yes, we will. He nails the deep three. We tied at 24. And then Durant goes inside with no cat in there. All I got to do is rise up over McDaniels and nail the deuce. Durant had 18 points. D-Book on his bully gets the deuce, but this possession is going to continue. A little back and forth between Booker and McDaniels. You can see McDaniels kind of hit Booker with a push screen. Book shoves back. McDaniel shoves one more again. All right, we got to let the refs and the teams break this one up before it goes somewhere left. McDaniels will get a technical foul. Book will get a personal foul. D. Book will make the technical free throw. All right, let's continue playing some playoff basketball. McDaniels let his play do the talking from that moment on. McDaniels backing down the legend and scoring. Third quarter. Suns face another issue. Grayson Allen trying to make a play on the basketball. He's going to roll that ankle. As you can see, Allen's night's going to end early. Suns already a top heavy team as is. That's not going to make things any better. Cat is back and nailing the three. Bradley Bill tries his best to go at Edwards and gets nothing but a rejection. A.E. makes the play to the point where the ref is going to give Edwards some dap. What? I've never seen anything like that in my life. Well, maybe the ref knew something because Edwards continues to cook. Phoenix only had 15 points, but was huge defensively for his squad in this one. The reason why A.E. only had 15 was because others did their part. Mike Conley nails the three. The old vet had 18 just three of 12 from the field was Edwards, but boy, was that a loud three-pointer. And then McDaniels is going to close out this highlight and game two with a cold-blooded corner tray ball. He led Minnesota in scoring with 25 points. Remember, he missed the playoffs last year because he broke his hand right before it. He's back now, and that hand looks darn good. So do the T-Wolves. They take the 2-0 series lead, beating Phoenix. 105.93. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pickup game. It's super simple to play too. All you gotta do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code Ferro, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code FARO and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HOOPSFARO for $20 off your first purchase. This is a basketball highlight. If you want more hoops from your boy, tap in on the Hoops Feral YouTube channel, at Hoops Feral, donate a super chat. We got a Hoops Feral Instagram where I'm always giving hot takes. The Hoops Feral Facebook is going up as well. Subscribe to this channel, at It's Mr. Taylor Feral, and follow my Twitter, at It's Mr. Feral. Thank you for the support.